YouTube land. All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the knot that connects between your braided line and your mono line. I got you now. You almost got me. Aslam Aleka. This is the knot I use. Uh, there's many knots out there. This is the Albright knot and it allows you to connect thin braided line to the mono without the braid cutting through your mono or without having to use a swivel. I'm trying to get rid of that terminal tackle. This is just my basic uh, pin fear setup that I use for redfish. If you've seen one of my other videos, I was talking about the Albright knot, so I figured I'd go ahead and show you the Albright knot and how I do it. Oh, and I want to try to teach Samantha how to do it at the same time. The main parts of the Albright knot is you want to take your, your mono here and you want to bend it like this. You know, get you a good little tag. Don't try to work with a little bit or you'll be tying the knot three or four times because you can't get it right. So you just take the tag of this and you run it through right here. And then hold the tag together because you want it to stay bent with your fingers. And then just wrap it around about nine times and then wrap it back over itself three times. So I just go like this. One. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then your, your line will look like that. You see it wrapped over it. And all you're doing is kinking this big mono. So then I'm gonna go back over the line itself three times, two, three, and then I'll go one for the road, so let's call it four. And then I'm going to put it back through this tag right here. And then it'll look like that. And then I'm just going to pinch it down. And I'm going to grab this with my teeth just because. Just get it tight. Pinch it all the way down. And see, all you're doing is kinking this mono by wrapping it. And then pull it tight, and it'll get binded on itself. And then if you're really scared that this is going to slide back through here, you can just do an overhand knot there. I'm not going to because I didn't leave enough. Trim up the edges. And you can trim this down too. Get it as far up as you want. There you go. You can get it, you can get it down further if you want. I'm just doing this for show. So that's kind of what it's going to look like. And, you know, it'll work just fine. Never really had one come loose, especially using thick uh, leaders. 20 pound mono looks something like that super strong it's like 90 percent tensile strength come on it's plenty good so all, all right, right now samantha my turn. now samantha's got to try to tie one all right samantha tell us how you're going to do this you're going to make a little loop loop right yeah just kind of pinch it together so you can wrap the string around it wrap, so go, yeah go through do it and wrap it around so like all right one staying on this side and you're wrapping this way. One, two, three, four. Then another line. Start over. <laughs> Make sure you got plenty extra line. Okay, got my loop. Got my braid through the hole. Hold it with your finger or the loop and the braid meet. And go around it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Now go back around it three times. Yep. One, two, three, one for show. One for the ride. All right. And then back through the hole. Back through my loop. 
I'll pull on it a little bit. All right, now we're gonna just cinch this down. Like, sure. Boom! Look Whoa! At that. First, first try. try. Well, second. Well, it was second. second. We, we did a take two. <laughs> but see how tight it is right there. Now, if for the road you want to put an overhand knot right here, just because you're obsessive compulsive like I am, put an overhand knot. Put it down there like that, and that overhand knot is not going to want to come through the hole. You can double it. If you're super obsessive compulsive like I am. And you put it back through, put that overhand knot back down on that same knot. Like chirp. Now you got a double double knot. Cut off the tag end. It looks something like that. And I'm gonna take this end, this tag, I'm gonna cut that off. It's better to leave extra and cut it off than not have enough and struggle with it. Yeah, because that's what happened in take one was she got halfway through the knot and ran out of line. So just have a little extra on the tag, something like that. You can get down further if you've got a pair of clippers, but that will work. Be a super strong knot. You don't have to have a swivel when you're going from mono to power pro. And that is how the Albright knot is used. It's very easy. I hadn't practiced it before now. Yeah, she just learned it like two seconds ago. I hope you liked this video. Please follow us on Instagram, Facebook at Yak Motley. Like and subscribe on YouTube, and I'll see you guys later.